Good day. In this video, we're going to look at the Euclidean geometry problem. It's part of the grade 12 syllabus. It mainly covers the midpoint theorem. I think it's good to see a geometry rider as a treasure hunt. And they give you all kinds of hints on the sketch and above or underneath the sketch to find this treasure. They say in the diagram below, we have a triangle PQR. I indicated it in green here. They said angle PQR, the angle there at Q, is 16x. Angle QPR, they say, is 15x. And angle R is 5x. Then they said S and T are the midpoints of PQ and PR. They indicated it here. There is S, and they said that is equal to that. And that's T is the midpoint, so that is equal to that. Then they said here, PM is extended to N. And you must learn that that implies that this is a straight line all the way there. PM extended to N. Any place where they say something is extended implies a straight line. Then they said SM is parallel to QN. They did indicate it on the sketch for us. And they said MN is 6 units. All this information must now help us to find the answers. They said at the bottom here, determine with reasons. And they gave us four questions that we will now answer. The first thing they asked us to calculate with reasons is the value of X. First we can say in triangle PQR, the green one, 15x plus 16x plus 5x equals 280 degrees. But why? Our reason will be interior angles of a triangle. Then we can write 36x equals 280 degrees. So x equals to 5 degrees if you divide by 36 on both sides. Please stop the video and get your brain around this part. The next thing they ask us to work out is the size of angle T1, the size of that angle over there. Again, we start with in triangle PQR, the green triangle. They told us that R is 5x, and that means it's 5 times 5 from the x that we worked out here, and that gives me 25 degrees, which we now can indicate on the picture. So that angle there is 25 degrees. Then we write... PS is equal to SQ given. They indicated it on the sketch for us. Then we write PT is equal to TR also given on the sketch. Then we can write ST is parallel to QR because of the midpoint theorem. Therefore, T1 is also 25 degrees equal to that R. They are corresponding angles because ST is parallel to QR. Please stop the video and get your brain around these two solutions. Next, they ask us to work out the ratio of PM over MN. So we write in triangle PNQ, the yellow triangle now. PS is equal to SQ given. SM is parallel to QN. They indicated it on the lines for us. Therefore, PM equals to MN. Converse midpoint theorem. Then you write NM equals to 6. It was given in the beginning there. So PM over MN will be 6 over 6. And that equals to 1. Please stop the video. And just get your brain around this. The last thing we have to work out for this video is the length of PO. That is the length from P to O over there. First we can write PM equals to 6 equals to MN from 3. We write in triangle PQM, the green triangle now. PS is equal to SQ given. Then we can write SO is parallel to QM. We did that in 2. Then we will write PO is equal to OM, converse of the midpoint theorem. So that one's equal to that one. Therefore, PO is equal to 3, the half of PM. You don't have to put this reason in. Please stop the video and get your brain around this last one. 
Please indicate whether you liked or disliked the video and subscribe to the channel. Enjoy geometry.